Good morning. It's Saturday, 6.14 in the morning. We're going on a bike ride. New Oakleys, no helmet today so my head don't burn. I know I could get a bandana or a skull cap. Baby steps. Easy. Yeah, super nice today. Nobody's out. I gotta be careful because all of a sudden when you get too many people out there, yeah. and I'm the last person. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. No respect on the trail. Yeah, and you can't really go off into the dirt or anything. Yeah. yeah. Some oh, that's true, yeah. Thrill chaser. I said you're a thrill chaser. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Today's ride was 18 and a half miles. Um, I barely drank any water, and I definitely only took one sip of this. Alex bought me some Gatorades. Dude. Apple Gatorade is disgusting. Like what, that's like gotta be the grossest flavor of Gatorade ever. I'm gonna start one of those. I'm gonna be one of those other like regular YouTubers. Let me know down in the comments what you think your least favorite Gatorade flavor is. That's how you gotta do. That's how you gotta get these subs up, dog. Whoo, it's time to go home, son. I didn't know this. Things under your gloves? Just for pulling them off. Who knew? Not me. Lime green. Sunday morning. Ah. Uh, Whoa, opening the gate the wrong way. Today we're going on a ride from the house. I routed a loop that actually touches the Highline Canal. This is the road we rode on yesterday. Today's flavor of Gatorade, lime cucumber. One of the best flavors. Cucumber, so good, so good. Now, Gatorades, they don't always get drank on the ride. I just bring them just in case. It's not necessarily 100% that it's gonna get, get drank. It's better to have it than not to have it. Let me tell you, I have learned. Strap up, baby. See what the day brings. I don't even know if we're still recording. We're home. I got 1% on the battery. 26.8 miles. Amazing. Um, okay, it is. I have no fucking idea what day it is. Pretty, oh, we need shoes. Um, all right, technically this bike ride was supposed to already be happening. Dirty Urn was supposed to meet me here because I wanted to take him on this loop that I've been doing. The, uh, the loop you just saw because I really like it. It's probably my favorite loop. Well, I only have nine days left here in the lovely state of Colorado. So, uh, yeah, I just like really, the loop's not long. It's not crazy challenging. It's, uh, really fun on the way home. Incline yourself up so you can have a nice little ride down. We were supposed to go this morning, but he's too tired. He's too tired. It's been a couple of days. It's, uh, I think there's been a podcast in between when I filmed. Still filming on the GoPro because it's convenient right now. It's definitely uh, not as good as my Sony, but I do like it. I keep going on these bike rides and then I'm too lazy slash tired to really be motivated to pack up. So this morning, instead of going, I opted to pack. So I have all, <laughs> with that being said, all of this is just clothing that I've made for the most part. So I have to kind of go through here and see what it is that I'm actually gonna keep versus what I'm gonna get rid of uh, there's a lot of stuff. So I got my work cut out for, with just this project. It's not even the beginning of all the projects we have going today. Every time I fucking open another crate, I'm just amazed, amazed at the amount of fucking t-shirts. Amazed, I don't know even what to do. here to pick stuff up. <sighs> I don't know how to explain my emotions, but they're not positive. <sighs> oh my God, I'm impressed. What are we here to pick up? 
You hate me so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't fit. <laughs> That's for sure. No, it does not fit, yeah. but we made it fit for a moment. <laughs> Eight trips later. No, it's been like four. It's been like seven. It's been more than four. No. It's been a lot. It's empty though now, right? No, I still have to come back. Oh, God, it never ends. Never ends, Alex. Yesterday we did a lot of packing. 4.43 in the morning. I am waiting. Well, the dog's going out, but I'm waiting on the sun to come up. <laughs> you can't see anything out here. I'm outside. Twenty thirty-eight. This week is a little light. We've been packing a lot, so I've only done 67 this week. It's time to go. Do some more packing. I gotta empty some shit in the garage. I'm about to send Dirty Aaron some photos of some clothing I'm gonna sell and the shoes that are left here. I'm gonna get rid of probably all of them because I don't care. Yeah, I'm even probably gonna try and sell my computer monitors. I'm trying to move as little amount of shit as possible. I know that seems silly to some people, but the probability of the monitors breaking is pretty high. <sighs> and they're heavy and annoying. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Ugh. The jackets and stuff that I'm putting up for sale. Uh, we got this room being torn down. Uh, electronics. Oh, that's the title of my car. But electronics, getting rid of organizing, planning. Whew. Let me get it. All right. Pure chaos. As, mu as moving tends to be, it's pure chaos. Oh, that face. We uh, packed all day yesterday. I'm pretty sure Ernie gets his truck today. It's a little later than usual because I uh, I am dragging ass today. I'm so tired. Still gonna try and go on a bike ride. <coughs> I don't remember when the last time I picked this camera up is. Uh, it's been, well, there's been no bike rides for a couple of days. Ern has dropped off the leaderboard. Ern's gone. Ern's already probably like halfway to Vegas right now. All right, this the is it. We're out. We're, this is goodbye. We're headed to Vegas. Teddy's leaving in four days. You're leaving in 12 leaving, hours. Yeah, 12 so. hours. Driving overnight and... Report back. If it's too hot, I'll just unpack. It's, well, it's 107 right now. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Right. Peace. Peace guys. Cam room emptied out. Ready, ready, boy. Another update. Truck is getting pretty packed right now. It's about all there is to update. About six hours till destination depart departure. This is brutal. There's no way after this packing that we're gonna sleep for two or three hours and then safely drive 13 hours to Vegas. What we're going to do is stop at a hotel in Grand Junction, which is four hours into the ride. Probably sleep till like seven and drive the next eight hours and be there by two, three o'clock. You gain an hour. Well, it turns out that uh, driving to Grand Junction wasn't happening either. There was no way I was driving four hours in this fucking budget truck behind me. Here we are. Here we are in Georgetown and then still full drive tomorrow. So basically I moved out of my house a day early to stay in a hotel. I don't know, that's how this moving shit happens. For those of you who have never been to the Georgetown Lodge, you're looking at it. This is it right here. This is how we're living. 45 minute jump off. Well, it, hey, oh, here we are in the fucking budget truck. Waiting for Brandy. It's only 40 minutes from when we left, like I told you last night. Now, hopefully we make it to get the keys in time or we'll be staying in another hotel. Funny how this is taking way longer than we thought. Just the mountains are brutal to drive. A truck like this at night, it just didn't feel like the move. Got some sleep, it's about 6 a.m. Hitting the road now and uh, we'll check in from the next rest stop, I guess. We are in Utah. Um, next gas station over I think it's 130 miles from the last one. We are literally in the middle of nowhere now. You can't find gas out here. I don't know. I don't know what people would do if they ran out and had to call AAA. Someone would have to come from an hour and a half away. There is literally nothing. So, uh, yeah, Utah's awesome. This is ridiculous. So now at this point, we're not going to make it in time for the apartment. Brandy drives a little slow. Brandy, who in New York or any other time when the speed limit 
is 65. She'll go 85 and tell me I drive slow. Now the speed limit's 80. She wants to go 70 the whole time. About an hour outside of Vegas and we're not gonna make it. I called the fucking apartment complex. They're not waiting around for us. <laughs> So brutal. So we got an Airbnb. I don't know. I'll be checking in from there. This is, I'm I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I, then when looking for the Airbnb, I took out a construction cone, which I sent fucking flying a mile across the highway. All right, I'm out. Well, you knew it had to happen, folks. Here I am on the bike, ready to kick it into these beautiful mountains here in Utah. Holy shit. This hill. The camera doesn't do it justice. Holy shit. All right, here we go. If I die out here, I hope someone finds this footage. We got three more days to pack up and get out of here. Alex has just left to go get the truck. And then we got this guy. The dogs are stressed out. Stressed out pups. Hmm. You worried. You're just kinda sleepy. Got the truck, we're gonna start packing the truck up this afternoon, start getting stuff out of here. It's so hard to pack when the stuff is still in the house. So yeah, that'll be pretty much it, man. It'll be on the road, we'll be, we'll be gone. I've sold a bunch of stuff. I sold all of the clothing and jackets I was gonna sell. All of it went, the shoes, the Woodwoods are gone. I now officially have only two pairs of shoes that have boosted in them. It is what it is. Plenty being made, so whenever I decide to get another pair, I certainly can. Certainly? I certainly can. And, uh, yeah, we're headed to Vegas. I don't know what else. I got, I probably sold $3,000 worth of jackets. You know, I'm not going to need those in Vegas. Jackets are great, but I don't, I don't need that much stuff. And, you know, what I do need, some carbon wheels for the bike and to pay for this move. Trade in some old wheels for some new wheels. That's what we do. Anyway, we'll wait for Alex. Well, you're just gonna have to worry, I guess, buddy. You can't make you feel any better about it. Going to a new place. It's gonna be a little hotter, a lot bigger, and definitely cheaper. It begins. I'm gonna end the vlog there.